my party. I'm gonna leave the floor wet. Walk around this bitch naked, and nobody can tell me shit. Period. Coronavirus. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Wait, I need lip gloss. Oh my gosh. Stop. Oh, I have wipes and my keys. I need to change my keys. I'm gonna have to get like a cute little keychain. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Wait, I don't wanna show too much. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jazzy J. Jasmine Dustine won the motherfucking trick. Let me not curse. Look at my. You guys, I have the most exciting news ever. Your girl moved to LA! No, seriously, like, I moved to LA, you guys. I moved to LA, like, by myself, like, on some dolo shit, like, on my dolly. Like, I moved. I wanted, I moved during COVID-19, like I moved during a pandemic, but like I moved here because I've always wanted to live here. Like I've always loved LA way, way, way before I even experienced it like firsthand. But then when I actually visited here a couple of years ago, like I truly, truly fell in love. And ever since then, I was just like, I need to move here. Like I felt home, like it's so crazy because I was born and raised in New York, in Brooklyn, so you'd think, you know, I am a city girl, but there was just something about the West Coast that girl fell in love with, you know, like I just, this is a vibe, like I can't believe, I wanna sit down. I literally just picked up my keys from the leasing office. Um, I can't believe I did this. Like, I did it all on my own. Like, I didn't have any help um, when it came to like applying to the apartment, getting approved for the apartment. Like, like literally everything. Like, I can't believe that I actually did. And I did it in two weeks. There was like this whole thing with my leasing office. Um, and the process just got sped up. Like, I literally found out that I got approved for this apartment on july 20th and it's july 31st and i moved in from moving across the country like coming from new york city to here los angeles california your girl did it i actually did it i can't believe i've cried so much um tears of joy you know tears of sadness because i didn't want to like leave my family like it's easy to say that you're just gonna like get up and move somewhere because you know that's where you belong or you know that's where you'll be happy, but like you'll be leaving people in the process. But it's another thing to like actually do it. So it was when I had to say them goodbyes. Those goodbyes, <laughs> I was bawling like a baby. I was boohoo and I was crying my eyes out because I was just like, I don't wanna leave. But like I wanna leave, but like I don't wanna leave, you know? My voice echoing in my big ass, cute ass, single, single living apartment. So yeah, I can't believe that I'm here. It still hasn't fully hit me yet. Like I was on the plane departing New York on my way to Dallas because I had a connecting flight and I was just like, I'm on a plane, but where am I going? Like, I knew where I was going, but I was just like, why and where and how? Like, how is this all happening? And I think it has to do with it happening so quickly. Like I said, I literally found out I got this apartment 11 days ago. I applied for it like 15 days ago. And for me to like actually be here, like packed up all my stuff, shipped it across the country, packed up all my clothes, stuffed it in suitcases, flew across the country. It's like insane to me, but I actually did it. And I'm just so happy. I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this and I'm only able to do it because of you guys, like literally you watching, 
anyone that supports me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, like y'all are the best. You love me and I love you. You support me and I support you. And I just wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you to all my family that helped me like pack this week and just prepare for this like major move. Um, literally shout out to everyone. No, but seriously, like shout out to you. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna vlog. It's my first day in my apartment and I just wanna vlog my first day. I literally have no furniture. I'm sitting on the floor right now, but it's very comfy. No. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna go to like Target and get an air mattress until I figure out like what bed I want because I picked out this apartment and signed my lease in New York so I only had videos and photos to go off of I didn't even know I don't I didn't know the dimensions so I need to like buy a tape measure I have to buy a tape measure I really hope I don't forget to buy a tape measure I need to buy a tape measure an air mattress a pillow or pillows, blanket. I need hand soap because I want to wash my hands. And I need a bar of soap. Like, I need to make a list. Okay, got my phone. So, let's make a little listy list. Because that's how I remember to not forget stuff. Um, stuff I need for apartment. Why isn't it bolding it? Okay, anyway. I need a tape measure, an air mattress. Why do I spell mattress with three T's? Okay. Um, pillows, just two. Two. A blanket, and maybe some sheets. Sheets. I should put comforter, not blanket. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk into Target, and I know how I am with Target. I'm gonna walk in. And I'm gonna have like a list of like five, six things that I'm gonna walk in with like walk out with like a hundred items, like and I don't even have like furniture. <laughs> but I'm gonna want everything. Food. I just need food. Like I'm literally starving. The last time I ate was yesterday at like two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's officially been twenty-four hours. So yeah, your girl, she's a Angelino, a lost Angelino, is that what y'all say out here? I'm still sound like I'm from New York though. I'm still gonna be a New Yorker at heart, but I do love the West Coast or whatever. She's gonna be bi-coastal one day. I need to take a picture for Instagram. Like, you know, one of those classic, like, I moved into a new apartment. Like, I need one of those. And then I'm gonna go to Target and I'm gonna take you with me. So, yeah. Not me not even recording. Oh my gosh, I'm so annoyed. But they put a Nordstrom rack down there. Or was that there already? I'm going into Target now. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm going into Target. Um, yeah, I don't know what the fuck to get. I'm realizing like all of my dishware, my bowls, my plates, my forks and knives, none of that shit is here. That all shows up. Let me try not to curse. All of that stuff shows up on Monday. And today's Friday. So I'm gonna have to buy plastic disposable like utensils. For some reason, I'm feeling very overwhelmed and it's because I'm literally going back home to an, a completely empty apartment, so I don't even know where to start, like. Oh my gosh. Why didn't nobody tell me that it's very hard being a single woman carrying groceries? Like, I got too much stuff at Target and I had the hardest time like getting out of Target. Like I kept dropping my bags because I had so much stuff. And it wasn't even because I had like like a bunch of stuff. It's everything that I got was so big. And they don't have like big bags. They only have like one size 
for like their plastic bags in Target. <sighs> anyway, I'm about to do a little, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Okay. Let me set you guys up right here. No, literally I was struggling so much. Like you have no idea. I realized everything I got like home wise was all lavender scent and it's cause I literally like love the smell of lavender. I got my soap, I got paper towels. Um, I got a clear shower curtain because I didn't like the fabric ones that they had. You know how you're supposed to do a clear shower curtain on the inside of your shower and then like a fabric or a thicker plastic one on the outside and that's like the one that usually has like a design on it or it's a color or something. I didn't like any of the colored or the fabric ones that Target had. I know Ikea has really nice ones and they're actually very inexpensive so I think I'm just gonna order that from Ikea. I got two pillows because I have to sleep with a minimum of two pillows and I bought a queen sized air mattress um, with the built in pump. Um, this shit was hella expensive. It was like $80 but I needed a bed, you know, so I'm gonna just leave this over here. Ooh, and I got the cutest, but I got this blanket. Probably shouldn't have bought this. Um, because it was like $60, but it's so cute. It's really like fluffy, like plush. Let me show you guys over here. I got this blanket, very cute. The brand is Casa Luna. They had like a bunch of like stuff, like um, towels and sheets and things, but I just got this blanket to sleep with um, because I like really, Plush, comfy stuff like this. This is fun, isn't it? I think so. I got a box of plastic utensils, lotion, because I plan on taking a shower, some sponges so I can wash dishes, um, Dr. Brunner's. 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. Um, this, fire. This is a great, this is great for like a lot of things, but I just use it as a body wash. And I got lavender. I got these silver shower hooks so I can hang my shower curtain. And um, activated charcoal toothpaste. I really like um, charcoal toothpaste because I really do feel like it makes a difference in whitening my teeth, but over time. Like I can't do it one time and expect my teeth to be lighter. But if I use this for like a week straight, I, my teeth actually do look whiter. And you guys have actually commented on it. And I was like, see, that's how I know it's working. Cause I don't be touching my teeth. You know, I don't be like editing my teeth. Cause you really can't. I mean, you could do it in photos, but not in video. But you guys will respond, like comment on my video and be like, your teeth look so white. It's the toothpaste, not sponsored by the way. Almond milk, less sugar, 45 calories. This is the vanilla. Vanilla is the go-to. This coffee, Stoke, I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. Stoke cold brew coffee, so freaking good. Oh my gosh, you just add almond milk because it's black. You can drink it like this if you like black coffee, iced coffee, but this cold brew, and it already comes sweetened, so you don't have to sweeten it. And then also my almond milk is vanilla, so it has some sugar in it, so I don't have to do anything other than pour the almond milk in my coffee. Love that for me. I was originally gonna get paper plates and just like throw them out because I actually have plates that I ship to myself, but everything is arriving Monday, as I mentioned earlier in this vlog. So I don't have it, but I need to eat and I need stuff to eat on. Like <laughs> I was like, Okay, I'm just gonna go in and get like a pizza and some cereal and some almond milk and like a yogurt or something. And then I was like, wait, what are you gonna eat the cereal in? You need a bowl. And then you need a spoon for the bowl for the cereal. And then you're gonna need a, some soap and a sponge to wash the bowl. And then, you know, you may need some paper towels, definitely gonna need some paper towels. And then you're gonna need tissue. I was like, 
one thing kept leading to the other and that's why I was feeling very overwhelmed. Um, but I got it together, you know, like I figured it out. So I got two little plastic gray plates. These were like 79 cents each. I got two cups and two bowls because I can't buy like, I was, I mean, my dad called me while I was in there and he was like, just buy one of each. And I was like, that's so weird. Cause then like when I have people over, they're gonna open my cabinet and see like one singular gray bowl, one singular gray plate and one singular gray cup. That's gonna look so depressing. So I had to get two. That way like, it, this can be like on a casual vibe, you know? But then, you know, when it's time to give presentation with my food, it's gonna be my ceramic, my glass, you know, things of that nature. So I got two. I know that was like a very long explanation for like nothing, but. I wanna do an empty apartment tour for you guys, but it's technically not empty anymore. I've gotten a couple of items. I don't have like furniture, so it's empty in that sense, but like, it's not like brand spanking. I mean, it's still brand spanking new. I literally got it today, but I'm like, should I film it for them? Or should I just wait to do like a furnished apartment tour? Or should I do both? <sighs> I don't know, but yeah. There goes my dad, he's calling me. Hello? Hey, did you get your bed? Chinese, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. Period. Why did it freeze like Weed is legal here, bitches. So guess the shop for to see me do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Ah! Ooh, period. Oh, period. She said, Honestly. Like it's brand new. I just want my pizza. My pizza's done. Um, DiGiorno Supreme Rising Crust is the only, like, yeah. frozen pizza that I'll eat at. <laughs> yeah, uh, try to smoke out my room window. Um, it worked for some time until it didn't. It worked, it worked, it worked. I didn't get, I wasn't high, I was like, but. And then... <laughs> When I woke up this morning, my dad was like, um, he was like, were you smoking weed? I was like, <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, Kylie, Kylie, you dusty bitches could never, um, The, the way that I lost time, but I still experienced time because I was traveling is what fucked me up because times was like, the times were so confusing. I was like, so I didn't even realize how long I was traveling for until I got to Dallas and I was boarding the second flight. And they were like, this trip is three hours. And I was like, three hours? But it said we gonna land in an hour. But yeah. it's because I was going exactly. back in time. Yeah. And I was like, so I'm gonna be in the air for three hours, but when I touch yeah. down, it's gonna be it's only one gonna hour like later. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. This is crazy. Yep. Somebody was like, "Are you gonna miss New York?" And I was like, "Of course I'm gonna miss New York. New York is a part of me. I am one with New York. I will always be a New Yorker. I was literally born there." What? The computer charger this hot oh wow have you seen people pose that question on like twitter where they're like ladies like what's wrong with dating a, a guy that's not established like you know how women are always looking for like established men like that make a lot of money or whatever so they can be taken care of 
they're like what's wrong with men wanting to be taken care of and like providing love and support and being emotionally available and i'm just like fuck no y'all get paid more than us like <laughs> like you're you're supposed to be more established like i don't know maybe i'm old school but like not that I want him to take care of me. I'm still going to be self-sufficient. I'm still going to have my own money, my own bank account. I'm still going to buy myself my own things. And I want to feel like my man takes care of me, you know, in every aspect. I don't, yeah. don't want to do the 50-50 split anymore. That shit is like, that's not for me, honestly. Yeah. Because um, I feel like there are ways in which a wife provides. And that that's what makes it equal. Like... And she's raising your fucking kids. She's giving birth to your children. She's bringing your children into this world. Why? Why shouldn't the men pay for more things? Like, mm -hmm. I'm not the type to not want to spoil my man or not want to buy him stuff or take him out to eat and treat him. Like, I'm definitely that type of person. I'm definitely that kind of girl when I'm in a relationship. But I still feel like I don't know. I'm just a little old school, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing 50 50 no more. Not doing it. So, yeah. with that being said, where the hood niggas at? <laughs> I'm looking for the hood niggas. Where the hood niggas at? <laughs> if I'm with you, it's because I want you, not because I need you. Yeah. So it's like, I know I'm so self sufficient. I can do everything on my own, definitely without your help. But like, if I have you around, it's because you're providing me with something that like with some sort of like compassion or like love support um security, security. you know okay let me lower it actually so i'm thinking this top which is like kind of it's pretty much backless <laughs> So, no bra. Um, Do y'all see how red my eyes are? I was in the shower and I got I soap in my eye. Happens, bro. bro, I got soap in my eye and my eyes are mad red. Make sure you have a mask. Maybe I should just do a clear lip. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not finna do no lip liner. I'm just gonna do clean gloss. Bad bitch link up, wow. Last time me and Mona were together it was in Miami, and now we're about to be together for the rest of our days. I'm actually really weak. The right choice. It's a fucking vibe. Okay, so let me show you guys my outfit before I pull this Uba. It's the high-waisted Fashion Nova jeans, darling, yes. with the Zora top, which I'm, really, I'm pretty sure it's from Zora. And then I have the Zora, the Klee Mules, right here. So I'm going to put these on. I need, okay, I need a full body mirror like tomorrow like i need to see my outfit from head to toe so that i know that it's a cute one like i know this is cute because i've worn this top before with um denim shorts and it looked really cute but like jeans are a little bit different these jeans are like they're cut off they're kind of like a capri and then they have the flare like the they're not like super skinny they are like a little bit of a straight leg and then you have the little fringe and i have my anklet on this i literally just keep on like a shower with this on it's from let me get closer it's from lace by tanaya on instagram my little ootd i'm about to call my uber soon i'm waiting on mona um but i'm about to call my uber i'm not bringing my vlog camera i know i said i was but 
girl i'm not trying to vlog and i don't want to have the camera in people's faces that i'm just meeting you know like that's kind of weird so yeah oh my God. I just woke up. Well, I didn't just wake up. I've actually been up probably for like an hour now. Um, but I was just laying down, calling some people, checking like my notifications. I posted on Instagram yesterday that I moved into my new apartment and I got so many people that <laughs> reached out and commented or DM'd me and just liked the picture or it's like a boomerang, it's a collage of photos, but like, I was not expecting that. Like, I knew people were gonna be like, congratulations, but I wasn't expecting like so many, com like it's literally like, let's just look at it because yeah, we're at 4,484 likes and 278 comments, that's crazy. So, I know I look hit by the way. Um, baby ears is still low key, like kind of fleeky. Um, <laughs> I didn't have anything to take my makeup off last night. So I was literally had to go to sleep with my makeup on. You know how much that hurt my soul? Like, I literally didn't have anything to take off my makeup. So that's the first thing I need to buy today. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much to everyone and anyone that like congratulated me on moving into my new place. Um, just, wow it's so crazy like the support is just so I'm feeling so supported like I've never felt this supported before by like anyone or people I'm just so used to doing having to do things on my own and like being independent which is not a bad thing but like feeling like I can depend on people or I can be reliant or I can just feel supported that feeling is different um, for me and I love it like I love it so much so Thank you to everyone. Um, you know who you are. You're important. You know who you are. So I'm about to put my Ari Lennox on. I'm about to dance to new apartment. New apartment. I'm gonna leave the floors wet. Walk around this bitch naked. And nobody can tell me shit. Period. I'm about to play that. Period. So, I just got back from, my nail literally just popped off, so I'm sorry, it looks really ghetto. What? Let me wash my hands. I just got back from, I went to CVS and I went to Whole Foods because they're fairly close. Um, and I just picked up like some stuff that I needed from CVS. So I needed like sunscreen, I needed hand soap, makeup wipes to take off my makeup from last night because I literally don't have any other way to take it off. And I bought face wash. And then from Whole Foods, I got some food. You know how they have like the, like the hot food area, like the hot food bar? So I got sweet potato fries. I love sweet potato. Anything to say. And I got coconut breaded chicken tenders. Sound really fucking good. And then I got honey mustard to dip my stuff in. And an essentia because I need water. Yeah, I'm about to Take off this makeup that I've had on since yesterday because I literally feel disgusting. Wash my face, do a little skincare routine, um, eat my chicken tenders and sweet potato fries. And I'm gonna edit some videos because I have like three videos to edit, to upload so I can upload like consistently this week and I can plan when those videos are gonna go up. And I have to call Spectrum because I wanna set up wi-fi in my apartment because my building has like free wi-fi in certain areas and then there's also like free wi-fi available that i'm picking up on but it's like really slow so i just i plan on getting my own wi-fi but 
that needs to happen like right now because I need like high speed internet. <laughs> um, these are the coconut chicken tenders. They look good. And then sweet potato fries. Yummy. I like them when they're a little crispy and a little soggy. These are more towards the soggy side, but it's okay. I love, I love that my apartment gets such good at lighting like throughout the day. Cause I'm the type of person to like, I won't turn on the lights in my apartment or just where I'm at until it's the sun has fully set. And even then I might just be in the dark. So I'm probably just going to be, um, I'm gonna eat and like work on some content, edit some videos, and then I'm gonna be doing a little bit of online furniture shopping. I'm probably just gonna be looking for right now because I don't know exactly what I want, but I wanna see like what's out there obviously. Um, I'm trying not to go to like Ikea and get like my, main, like my main furniture, like my bigger furniture from there, maybe like little small stuff. So I'm gonna look to see like if there's some furniture stores like in my area or just in Los Angeles that I can physically visit um, because stores are open. Um, they're just like limiting how many people can be in the stores and then you have to wear a mask and you have to social distance. Um, which is fine. So if I can find like a furniture store that's open that I can physically go in and like visit and sit on couches and beds and look at things like in person as opposed to online, I feel like I'll have a better idea of what exactly what I want. So I'll probably just like check in with you guys later. 